Before we jump into today's vlog, I just wanted to clear up a couple of things. I have actually mentioned this in the past. Generally speaking, I'm a pretty optimistic, happy-go-lucky person. Um, generally, I have a pretty bright outlook on life, but occasionally I will have moments where I am super down, I'm just in a funk, I'm a little bit depressed, and I just don't want to put my face on the internet. And for the past week, that is essentially what has happened. I don't have one moment in particular or any one reason why I've been upset for the past week, but for whatever reason, I just haven't been in the best mood for the past week. And whenever I do have those moments where I am just feeling a little bit unhappy or I'm in a little bit of a funk or anything like that, literally the last thing I want to do is pick up a camera, film my face, sit down, listen to my voice over and over and over as I edit, that just does not appeal to me. And so occasionally there will be moments where I just literally don't upload for a couple of days. Thankfully, I know that you guys are seriously like the most awesome people ever and you totally get it and you guys have been so patient waiting for uploads and those of you who follow me on other social media like Twitter or like Instagram, you always send like the warmest wishes and that basically reminding me that you guys understand. And I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for your well wishes while I have just been kind of trying to be a little bit happier. I am feeling a little bit better today, which is good. I'm actually going to throw my clothes on here in just a minute and go on a run with the puppy, which should be super fun. But I did just wanna hop on here and say thank you guys so much for being patient while I have been in a little bit of a funk. And I did just want you to know that it is completely normal and completely okay to sometimes be not okay. <laughs> that is okay. <laughs> I also wanted to throw this out there, but if you haven't subscribed to my health and fitness life lifestyle channel that I have recently created. You should go check it out. I actually uploaded a brand new video on that channel and I will link it right up here so you guys can go check out that video because I'm actually really proud of it and you guys who have already seen it seem to be really digging it and I'm super psyched to hear that. So that actually lifted up my spirits a little bit hearing that you guys were really enjoying that channel so far. So I'm really, really happy to hear that. And since I have been in kind of a funk this past week, this vlog is a little bit different in the sense that instead of filming every single day, I kind of just filmed a couple clips here and there. So there's not really a lot of chronological sense that is made in this vlog, but hopefully you guys will enjoy these clips regardless. Let's just jump right in. This angle is hilarious. Sorry, I'm kind of leaning down here a little bit. I am just about to go to the gym. I'm making a little bit of like BCAAs right now. I'm just about to go to the gym and I'm a little bit nervous. This is the first time I'm going to the gym. Let's see. Today is the 5th of January and this is the first time I'm actually going to the gym in the year 2017, which is super cool. I don't know how busy it's gonna be. My gym is like ridiculously busy like most of the time and so I'm trying to figure out what I should be expecting here. I'm a little nervous. I'm probably not gonna film anything. We'll see. If it's not that busy, I might, I might be able to, but I have a feeling it's gonna be crazy. So we're just gonna have to see. I just got out of the gym. It actually wasn't as busy as I was expecting it to be because it's it, New Year, right? So New Year, you kind of expect more people to be at the gym because um, of New Year's resolutions and stuff like that. So I was kind of expecting it to be quite busy. I noticed, oh gosh, I'm out of breath. I noticed that there were a good amount of people on like the treadmills and like the, uh, on the ellipticals and like Stairmasters and stuff like that. So that seemed kind of busier than normal, but um, like the weights and stuff didn't seem as busy as it normally does. Well, about as busy as it usually is, but not busier. I did legs today. I did this thing that like made me shake it was so difficult where you do back extensions so that's like 45 degree angle back extensions so there's like this thing right i need like two hands to show you but there's like nowhere i can put my camera oh there we go back extensions there's like this thing that you can like lean over like if this is me you do this basically and it's really really good for your butt like it works out your butt hardcore which is awesome so i was doing that but then i did this thing where i supersetted it holding a um, Romanian, no, yeah, Romanian deadlift 
hold basically. I did like 15 back extensions without any weight and then I just held a Romanian deadlift stance like with your straight back kind of bending down your knees are bent a little bit and oh my gosh that killed like it hurt in the best way so bad like my legs were shaking it was crazy and it was hilarious because I was doing back extensions next to this guy and he was doing it with like a 45 pound weight so he was like doing hardcore um, I'd love to get to that status one day, but it was hilarious because I had like no weight, but I was supersetting it with the Romanian deadlift stance. And so I was shaking so bad and he was like. So I got a phone call in the middle of that little segment of vlogging. So I did not even finish my thought. I don't even remember what I was talking about. I'm really pumped because I just got a call from my friend, Becca. Becca is probably one of my oldest, closest friends in this in the entire world. For the past year, she has been teaching English in Korea, which I think is like the coolest thing in the entire world. Wow, super white. She just finished her job there, which is really exciting. And now she is traveling seven weeks through Southeast Asia. She's just about to get on her plane. And so she just talked to me for a little bit. Um, and she invited me along with her. I don't know if I can do it with work and stuff and everything that I have planned. That would literally be the coolest thing ever, so. I, I'm just so happy. I love like getting on the phone and like talking to an old friend that you haven't heard from in a really long time. And especially in our situations because I haven't, I don't remember the last time I've spoken to her, but she's just, one of those friends to me that you pick up the phone and you talk to them and you can just like pick up where you left off like there's no awkwardness there's absolutely nothing there's no like weirdness between you two or anything like that becca is amazing and i love her to death and i'm so excited for her because she's she's just about to go see the world and she's been seeing the world i guess technically for the past year and i'm just I'm so happy for her. I love talking to old friends. Old friends are the best, Noelle. They are. Look at your teeth. You look like Dobby. Did you know that? You look like Dobby the elf. What is up, everybody? We are at Kyle and McKenna's house right now with River is in town. Hey! He's here for CES, which just concluded actually. But he got this cool drone, which is super cool. And also McKenna is live on Twitter over there. But it is so cool. Oh, it flipped, it flipped, it flipped. That is seriously so cool. What do you think about the drone? It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool? Yeah. You should get one. How fun would that be? That'd be cool. Whoa. Oh, fancy. Whoa. This is so cool. Whoa. <laughs> that is so cool. We're doing Twitter live yeah. right now. Yeah, everybody say hi to Katie. Oh yeah, everyone say hi to Katie's blog. Woo! I wonder how how much the delay is. I here. know. And they're, meanwhile, they're like flying the drone hi, in the Katie. background. What's up? What's up, everybody? So River is teaching Katie how to fly the drone right now, and Sebastian's out here. Seems to be very curious, but also scared about it. Wow. You are you? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so we got a new dog. Just kidding, Susan's in town and she got a new dog. This is Whiskey. She's a little bit scared because she doesn't really know what's going on. What? Noelle's like, I just want love. What is this? Yesterday we went to the P.O. box and we got a couple of things from you guys that I think you guys sent in right around Christmas time. So we thought we would open it up. Pick a letter, any letter. <clears throat> Brian James from <coughs> Scottsboro, Alabama. He's moving to Wales soon. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's really, really nice. He's good handwriting, too. <laughs> Dear Katie and Blake, I just watched your video with a bunch of PO letters on December 19th, and it made me want to write y'all a letter. So I just want to say thank you for the hours of entertainment, but also for being you. With love from a Welsh stranger in Alabama. Aww. That's a cool signature, too. That's so cool. <laughs> Ryan, your Welsh, handwriting. Welsh person going to Alabama. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, I want to know the story there. Ryan, how did you 
How did you come from Wales to Alabama and then back to Wales? I want to know the story there. Thank you so much for the letter. That's so sweet. From Alexis and Jan from Ellensburg. Wishing you happy holidays and a happy new year. From Ian, Alexis, George, Fred, and Bob. <laughs> Look at the cats. Yeah. So thank you for sharing your life on the tube. From one Washingtonian to some others, Merry Christmas. You will always be some of my favorites. Thank you so much thank for the you. card. That's so nice. From Elkins, from Abilene, Texas. Ooh, mm -hmm. Taylor. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year with love. Taylor and Jordan Elkins. Aww, that's so nice. It looks like a picture, <clears throat> like a photograph. Yeah. Thank you so much. Texas isn't super far from Las Vegas, so maybe one day if you have a meetup, we can come. That would be so cool. You helped me out tremendously when my husband was at basic training in tech school. While he was gone, I was attending college in Kansas, so being away from my family and him were really hard on me. Your videos were the only thing that cheered me up. Uh, as long as you are making videos, we, we will be watching. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you so much for the letter, Taylor. That's so nice. We love to help whenever we can, if we can. Gilbert Rodriguez, Rodriguez from California. Ooh, it's a Snoopy card. Wishing you every little joy, every big happiness, every merry thing the holiday season brings. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's from Gilbert Rodriguez. P.S. Love your vlogs. Noel yeah. approves. Thank you so much, Thank you. Gilbert. That's so sweet. This one is from Martine Vardina from France. France. Ooh. France. Ooh. Picture of a cabin. Hello, Katie and Blake. Ah, it is in French. Is it? Yes. Uh, Wishing you a happy new year. Merry Christmas. Continuing on YouTube. And we'll see you next time. That's like, so nice. Something to put all of our letters in. Yes, I feel like, like a like a something. Yeah, and yes. like, I mean, obviously we like all the letters we get, but something to where we can like put this up somewhere because it's in French. Yeah, so it's like it's like. Is that cool? Yeah. yeah. She always comments on our vlogs in French, and so oh, I yeah. always respond in French. Thank you so much, Martin. I want to go wherever this is. Isn't this pretty? Yeah. I love this. I'm, like I'm a little cabin. I see. Let's open some packages. We got a package from Maria in Portugal. Dearest Katie and Blake, I want to wish you a happy holidays and a Merry Christmas. Well, I'm looking forward to you writing success and looking forward to reading your book because I was talking about how I was writing for November. Maria de Fatima Pace. We got this. Ooh, okay, there's uh, placemats. Oh, okay. Ooh, sweets. We got candies. Mm. Ooh, happiness is a piece of cake. This is cool. <laughs> like a, a cake server. Mm. I love oh, that. Yeah. Happiness is a piece of cake. <gasps> and these are cookies. Mmm. Oh, my favorite. Thank you so much, Maria. These are so cool. I'm so excited. This like cake server is no. legitimately the coolest thing ever. And we didn't have one, so this is perfect. All right, we got one more package. This one is from Homesick Candles. For the times when you miss Washington, Matt from Michigan sent this to Matt us. Matt from Michigan. Matt from Michigan sent this to us. Oh, this is exactly what I thought it was. Is it? Yes. Homesick mm. Candles. You can't smell it. Fill yeah. your house with home. So the thing with these candles is that they smell like the state that you're from, or they're supposed to. Yeah. So this one smells we'll like Washington. It's a nice box. Mmm. Isn't that nice? Thank you so much for yeah. the candle. This is awesome. Nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye.